Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. I'm standing in front of the truck that we've nicknamed Ringo. This 2005 Volvo 670 is just about to go into our shop and I'd like to show you what this truck looks like outside and inside. I've had a number of people asking me to locate them a pre-emissions truck and that's what we've got here. This 2005 Volvo 670 has got a D12 engine in it, so that's the 465 horsepower. It doesn't have any of the exhaust emissions, uh, the, either the DEF or DPF on it. This truck was owned by a power engineer. Uh, this fellow has a degree in power engineering, so he knew all about diesel engines. When I first met him on the side of the road at the truck stop, he was able to show me all of the engine oil additives and he gave me a complete lesson on how to take care of a diesel engine. Uh, Z was his name and Z uh, never touched the throttle of his truck for 20 minutes so he would start the engine warm it up for at least 20 minutes because that would let all the metals warm up equally and then he would go. What was equally impressive about the way that he treated his truck was when he stopped he would wait 20 minutes as well. He would let it cool down idle for 20 minutes again to leave all of the metals to contract equally. If you look really close at the paint, he was also a guy that washed his truck. One of the spots I like to look for rust is inside the door. And this is not a painted truck. This is original. And take a look. He, uh, he liked the company Blue Beacon. He traveled to the States quite a bit. And he would get his truck washed all the time. And it really shows. We can look at this truck at all different angles and we see very, very little for blemishes on the sides of the trucks, or sides of the truck, sorry. Even the rear steps here, getting really close. You can see that there are some chips in the front of this step, but that's pretty normal for all the oncoming traffic. And the back of the sleeper is really nice too. We haven't done any work to this truck yet, but you'll see I do have some paint chips that you know, rocks have come up off the tires and hit there. But the center of the sleeper is really nice. <clears throat> He's got super, these are uh, not recaps, these are low profile Michelin tires. And the tread life we're probably looking at 80 to 90 percent tread remaining on those tires. I'm also happy to show that this truck has a rear axle locker. So that right there gives us effectively a posi track rear end. that step. You can see the difference on the passenger side. Not nearly as much oncoming traffic throws up gravel or sand towards it. Take a look at the front of the fairings. Nice. And the paint is identical on this side. Not a, not a mark out here. <clears throat> This truck has approximately 900,000 miles on it. But let me show you if 
you go look on my website here, I will have the engine dyno results. The mileage on this truck is not something to be afraid of. This truck has dynoed beautifully. Even with the tandem axles on the back still, this truck is producing, or pardon me, losing only 23% of its horsepower. I've brought in trucks that have a third of the kilometers of this truck and they have the same horsepower loss. So this truck has obviously been taken care of and I'm not afraid to say that this truck will go hundreds of thousands of miles further. Let me show the engine and the inside next. I'm here on the passenger side looking at this 465 horsepower Volvo engine and we can get up nice and nice and close and you'll see no leaks here I'm checking over it it's proving to be a really healthy truck let me show you around the driver's side next there's the driver's side of course, one thing we're always looking for are leaks or issues. One thing these Volvo D12s are notorious for is that ECU injector harness. That wire that leads right there is notorious for leaking. It's quite an expensive fix and this one is pristine. I've got some grass on the front steer tires, but those are great tread as well. Those are Michelins. So the XZA3s are known to be a pretty nice quiet steer tire. If we look down along the axle, you can see that he's kept things washed really nicely and steamed. And down below, he's a fan of Baldwin filters, which are a very good name. I'm showing no leaks. Let's go inside next. So this Volvo 670 is a shoes off zone. When I met him he had his different shoes for driving. That he always took off his driver's shoes and put them right here beside the driver's seat. And it shows that you can look at the pedals and the floor in here. It's really nice. Let's climb up. Inside a Ringo, things are absolutely pristine. Nothing for marks, scratches, or stains. Really, the inside of this truck looks like it's new. The floor is beautiful. A little bit of grass on the floor there, sorry. I stepped in with my socks carried that in but the carpet is pristine as is the back wall and the upper bunk let me look at a different angle for you so there's a close-up view of the condition of the door i'll show you the dash steering wheel And there's the upper bunk. It's folded up right now. A 
I'll show you inside the refrigerator. I've had a number of people asking me to find them a pre-emissions truck that was in great shape, and I've found one. Ringo here is, uh, proves it with his dyno that he's in super shape. We've had it in the shop. Very little needs to be done to this truck. We're going to start the singling process next. If you'd like a truck that will last you hundreds of thousands of miles, this is a really good candidate. It's nice meeting an owner that takes care of his vehicle, and as well, one that uh, just proves that Synthetic oils and maintaining it and staying on top of it really makes these last a long time. So I finally found a nice inexpensive one that could become a great RV hauler. If you're interested in our conversions, this truck or any others, look at our website www.rvhaulers.ca. Thanks.